Let's take a cat nap. Ha ha ha. good. No wonder Lady An chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Mmm. Okay. So it's like a buffet? It looks like a buffet. Oh yeah. I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. Let's hope they don't interview us. That's troublesome. Yeah. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. That's not good. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. Heck yeah. But Ryuji, don't talk with your mouth open. Or mouth full, I mean. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? I'm, I hope that's what it says, because I can't... I can read some of that, but... Uh. Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going, too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Uh... We good on time? Huh? Oh crap, you're totally right! We only got an hour to eat! Oh, that's what this is. I didn't know. Okay. Just 50 minutes left! We've been here for 10 minutes. Everyone's freaking out already, like, oh my god. Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace. I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Oh, that's why there's a whole pie there. Gotcha on. Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys too. Don't worry. Thanks, Ryuji. Ryuji's always looking out for us. Oh man, God melts in my mouth. Seriously, only meat? Now where should I start? I see you didn't get ramen. And she's all about the cake. So. Did they get sushi from Organa? I'd feel bad. Hey, calories. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Treat yourself. Mm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> oh, I'm glad she's having a good time. We deserve it, you know? And where's our Share. Yeah, did Ryuji end up getting it for us? I didn't really know what you'd want. So I just grabbed you some beans. Really? At a probably four or five star buffet, you grabbed us beans, Ryuji. Ah, uh, your heart's there, I guess. Beans? The magical fruit, Morgana. There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. Okay, fried bananas, good. Preserved eggs, never had, definitely want to try, so good. Beans? Really? M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up, but it should probably still taste good. This is just... Plain grotesque. <laughs> Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Yeah, we'll show them a great plate. Leave it to me. I'm all about fine dining and breathing. That's reassuring. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Hmm. <sighs> oh, it's like a meaty explosion. They're too far gone, Morgana. Let's just go. Oh, if that's a cheesecake, well, Japanese cheesecakes are a lot different, but they're not even listening. I'm saying, Morgan, let's just go. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel. 
The ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. Oh, so that co this costs us like 24k? Come here? Okay. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Yeah, you haven't really eaten anything, have you, Morgana? Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Um. Hmm. That's salad. That's clearly cake. What is. Oh, I can't go past there. Is this fish? There's rice dishes. Meat dishes. I don't know where the sushi's at, Morgana. There's not very many places I can go. Oh, fish. Here we go. Grilled is great too. I don't know. I think I prefer it raw most of the time, especially in sushi, but like nice grilled salmon or a bake. Okay, yeah. They're both fine. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Uh, it was good to hear. Right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Hmm. it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm. Shoot! They noticed you. Just grab some food and act natural. Yes, I saw... Side. We'll get to eat the food later. <laughs> How did a child like this end up in here? Hey, I worked hard for this. I certainly hope you didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan free. Thank you very much. So that's the type of people we're dealing with. Gotcha. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Yeah, we paid for it. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Sounds good, Morgana. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. I think our next area that I want to go to, at least, is the meat area. Oh. What are the... Uh, oh, I guess we're just listening in on people. Okay. Oh, okay. So we should try to get the meat dishes? There we go. Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any. That almost didn't sound like Morgana, like that first bit. Hmm. I got distracted. No, oh, it's fine. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Who are you guys? Gintu? Yakuza? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty! Okay, Morgana. He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. We were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Yeah, maybe they're not Yakuza. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food. The talk of the town, we had a big impact. Apparently. Rice is incredible! It's the cornerstone of every great meal! Uh... Not in America, but in Japan? Understandable. Sorry. I got a bit carried away there. It's okay, Morgana. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? 
It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. She like a hostess? Because she looks way too young to be talking to this dude. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. Yeah, that's the problem with TV, though. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. They don't know that. The news didn't divulge that, which I'm glad they didn't. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Yep. And don't forget the crispy bits. <laughs> of course. I actually don't like the crispy so, bits of rice. Because but... he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. A lot of meetings going on. Or is it the same one? I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Well, uh, let's go over to the desserts. It's our last table. Oh, up close, it it's looks huge. Even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet. I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world reforming heroes. Oh, so he believes it. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? That's the problem with journalism. So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. I mean, it helps us out, though. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Look at that smirk. That dickering smirk. Hmm? Eating smirk. Sorry. Whoa, well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! Especially if it's pumpkin pie, which I don't think this is, but... Well, what's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. This has to be the same well, meeting. That was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Yeah, and our classmates said a lot worse. It's fine. I don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on. But it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Yeah. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. Sounds good. Oh, you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? Huh. I'm, yeah, like, having all this at our disposal, I'd be so happy. <laughs> it's cute. Too excited, got it? Why does my PS4 do this? You're the last person I want giving advice about that, Ryuji. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mona's probably had like rice the entire time. There's no knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Well, why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Yeah, Ryuji, eat the, f eat the dang beans you brought us. Well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever. Let's deal with this ourselves. Let's do this. It's time for an all-out attack. Ah! Feels like no matter how much we eat, the amount of food we have stays the same. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. It's time for another all-out attack! We... we did it. Victors. My belt fills multiple sizes too small. Oh yeah. 
We did it, Ryuji. High five. Ugh. This is a victory for all of us. That was a breeze. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking <laughs> palace? Yep, you could say it's the size of a castle, Ryuji. Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? No. I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Okay, I might actually be down. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Do you like me some grapefruit? Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Good luck. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. Godspeed. My, look at that table. Yeah, we ate a lot. What of it? Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. Oh, he understands. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. Okay, you need to dump her, dude. You're actually being somewhat reasonable. What was that? Don't worry about it. We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Yep, yep. Gotcha. <laughs> Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to poop in the elevator. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? That's one thing I haven't done yet, is eat until I puke. Been close a few times, but yeah, never done that. Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? They see the cat, they're like, oh. Oh, no. What the? What the heck's going There's on? still no update on the case. Mm. Not yet. They just pushed Ryuji? Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it. Hey, you're cutting in line. True. What do you want? Um. We were here first. Back him up, yeah. We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? Yeah, what if I'm in a hurry? Can I butt in front of you? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? Yo, we are in high school. We don't need a daycare. What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. Yo! That voice just now. They pushed Ryuji, though. What the hell was with that bossy guy? What the heck? Shouldn't we head back down? I mean, I guess everybody else stepped out of line. Who, who is he? Yeah, but that dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Yeah, he's a real Mara Ryuji. I agree with you. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. Hey, chill out, chill out. We're in a public area. That man's voice. It sounded almost like the one from back then. What's wrong? Uh, I'm okay. You sure? You're not looking so hot. It's probably because he never eats well. I'm always stuck with canned cat food, too. Yo, what do you want from me? For yeah, real. That sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it. What took you so long? You got cut. Why are you all pissy? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, mom and dad are fighting. Sorry. 
run-in with some woman a second ago. Oh, are you okay? She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. She can just go back and get more. Like, you pay for your time, not the food individually. Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah, we had a similar experience. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... The restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. <sighs> Sorry. I wonder if we're out of place here. Probably. I can't say we're not, because, like, this definitely isn't something we would do every day, so... Maybe. <sighs> hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen. That would be the case. What are you getting at, Ryuji? Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Yeah. We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You want to keep this up? You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I'm down. I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people. Yeah, people who don't fit in. The delinquents, if you will. I mean, I know what I think. What do you think, Han? I... I agree. Well, I guess it's up to Morgana. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? I didn't even think of such a possibility. But it's true that with this power, we may be able to help people. But... That means we'll have to fight Shadows again, doesn't it? Nothing wrong with that. We got... Bye, last time. Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. Cheers to that. <laughs> right? Yeah, we might have a couple downs, but... I do want to help people. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Heck yeah. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. Alright, it's settled. We'll continue as the Phantom Thieves. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Let's do it. Are you okay being our leader? Hmm? Why me? No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Morgana's the one who knows everything, so why me? Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Of course she would. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Yeah, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? I think that's a great name, actually. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. Hmm. How about the diamonds? <laughs> I mean, we have hearts, we have diamonds. What? What's Ryuji's? Or if Ryuji has the second suggestion, it's going to be definitely something to deal with clubs, right? I'm getting the real little league baseball feel from it. <laughs> well then, here's my suggestion. How about? Tilefish Poilet! No. Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. 
It's commemorative now. Oh no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. Will do. Your team name may be seen by others when using network services. Yeah, I, it's fine. What we have now, it's perfect. Phantoms. Let's go with this name. Huh. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I know. It's kind of just already there. A good name for a rookie. Oh, shut up, Morgana. We going with that? Um, if that's okay with everyone. Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? Phantom Thieves Assemble. Let's do it. There are tons of rotten adults and all. Let's see what comes up. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Uh... Like a... Like a celebrity? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Okay, I'm gonna cut here. Um, I thought it would be really cool, like, when I first played through this game, if you chose, like, a celebrity or, like, a CEO, it would branch off, and those would be, like, your palaces that you go to. I know that's not the case, but I think that was a cool idea, anyway. Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. We did that with people from our school, so... I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Yeah. We should have a reason for it. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. <laughs> now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Let's do it. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. That doesn't matter, On. We're all in this together now. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Sounds good. Oh god, what do you want? Uh... Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Very well. I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. And the summary has been updated? Cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Mm. Well, we spent all our money on the buffet, but... We officially established the Phantom Thieves. 
That was totally worth it. We still do have some money left over from that metal, though. The Phantom Thieves, huh? I'm liking the sound of that. I hope we can really help people. I'm curious about the Phantom Aficionado website, too. I wonder who made it. No clue. More importantly, you see the survey on there? I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, there was this approval rating thing. But it was only at like 6%. I mean, it was just probably students of Kamoshida, so... It's better than I expected. I guess it's not so bad if you put it that way. But don't you just want to get it higher than that? I bet it'll go up tons if we keep taking down big targets. It's pretty damn exciting if you try it and think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. The Thieves' Den has been unlocked. You can access the Thieves' Den from menu or from the title screen. At the Thieves' Den, you'll be able to do various activities such as view art, listen to music, or play card games. You may unlock more with story progression, so stop by now and then. The Thieves' Den? This is something they added in Royal, so I'm very curious about what this actually is. So let's check it out. Palace Maker? That might be sick. Hmm. Who the heck are you? I really messed that up. I can't believe I mixed up the gas and brake pedals. Oh well. First I need to fix this up. That ought to do it. So. Okay. So did you need something from me? Who, who are you? Were you drawn here by the smell too? Oh. I guess you just got here too then, huh? You can definitely understand not knowing what's going on here and don't worry. I see. I think I'm starting to get it though. So that's what this place is. Hey. This is a place created by the cognitions of people like yourself. Your memories and feelings are collected here and given shape. Boy, am I sure glad I came here now. I bet this place can teach you and me all sorts of things. Hey. I'm going to stick around here for a while. You take a look around too if that interests you. I'm curious to see more of the memories inside you. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask me. Help as much as I can. Doing good? Well, that should wrap it up. Good job. Who the heck are you? Thieves' Den. In the Thieves' Den, you can use P-Metals to purchase and enjoy a variety of extra content. You can obtain P-Metals by obtaining awards or by playing Tycoon. Okay, let's check out Palace Maker. If you have purchased items with P-Metals, you will be able to place them within the Thieves' Den. Cognitive allies and confidants will come to view and discuss your items. These characters will change when you enter the Thieves' Den or change the item's location. You can adjust these decorations based on your story progress. The interior of the Thieves' Den may even change depending on your decor. Okay. Uh, before we get into all that, which we will at a later point, but... Just add this. That's a little bit too much right now. Let's save really quickly. And yeah, that's um. Maybe we'll get into that next stream. I don't know. But I guess I did kind of spoil it.
we are ending the stream.